Hi there everyone, or should I say good evening. You're speaking with Jacqueline here, who I am um, called Jack, which I'm fine with. Um, as you can see, I am Scottish, and the case that I'm going to be speaking about um, tonight um, is in regards to um, a Scottish, Scottish case that happened way back in 2004. Now I'm going to put a disclaimer out there, so um, if you're prone to certain um, things um, that are very, very heinous, then I'll click off now. Um, I wouldn't continue with um, listening to this video, as it's got some, some very, very brutal and awful things in it. Um, nonetheless, um, if you do like what I do, um, you do like true crime um, um, and you want me to speak about more, not only about Scotland but um, about, about anything that you, you want, then, then please, please let me know. Um, just um, leave me um, a subscribe if you want to, a wee thumbs up um, and also um, a comment um, on, on the video saying what I could um, do right, do wrong, and leave some comments in regards to what we're actually speaking about here because this is a very, 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 very sad case. Um, although it was quite a bit ago, it does still bring um, a tear to my eye, um, as I'm sure it will yourself. So, um, excuse me if I do have to keep checking my notes. Um, because it is quite um, a, a long, a long case, but I will try to put it into um, a way that we can all understand it. But it's not too long, um, and hopefully we can have a discussion about it. Okay, um, so please, if you do like what I have to offer my content, then please, like I say, hit the wee the subscribe button. Um, and yeah, so let's get started. Okay. This case um, is called about the, a boy named Chris Donald. Now Chris Donald was only 15 years old. He lived in Glasgow with his mother, Angela Donald, um, and his three siblings, younger. I'm sure they had two twin sisters who were younger and one um, brother who was younger and they lived a flat in a flat in Glasgow um, in the Paul Shields area. Now this day March 15th, just before this in fact I'll just give the wee back note in, Chris was born on July 2nd 1988. Um, not that that matters but it's just a wee, a wee back note of him okay. Um, he was also described by his friends, family and even the police officers who were, after all this had happened, had described him um, as very, very bright um, and he got called Crypto and he was a, a massive Rangers fan, um, if you don't know what that is. It's in, in Glasgow, we have got Rangers and Celtic, um, he was um, part of the, the Rangers um, sector, however, um, that's got nothing to do with um, what we're talking about today, but it's just giving you a wee insight about him, his personality. He also was due to set his seven um, standard grades, I'm sure, that, that, that year as well. Um, and he also um, had been at army camp and he came back from the camp and was um, basically the best um, in, the, in the, the camp. Um, he said they wanted to join the military, I'm sure. So that's just a wee bit of a back note of him. Now, March 15th, we go to that, like I said. He said to his mother that he wasn't feeling very well and could he stay off school that day. Um, his mother, Angela, agreed. Um, then at 3pm that day, sorry, excuse me, I do have a cold, sorry. 
then at 3 p.m. that day, he asked if he could meet up with his friend Jamie Wallace, I'm sure he was 19, um, just to play some video games. So his mother, Angela, had agreed. Now, at this time, there was some four Pakistani men, I'm sure, who were on some side of the, the city in a, in a stolen car. Um, and they were, of, as I said, of, of Pakistani um, heritage. Um, their name was. Just sorry if I just have to, just have to check check this. They get called. Um, Danish Zahid, and that was Imran Baldi. Shahid, Zishan, Sahid, who were brothers, um, and Muhammad Faisal, Mustak. Sorry if I'm not perfect pronouncing this right, but this is then what I've got here, sorry. So Baldy, I'm sure, is the leader of this and takes pride in this. Shows no remorse, has never shown any remorse for anything for this crime. Um, um, and it was, yeah, it was racially motivated. It was not personal, it was just basically... So we're going to pick up um, a white boy and we're going to torture the life out of him, which is what happened. Sorry. What happened was that somehow Chris was snatched by these thugs in Kenya Street. Um, he was bundled into this stone car. He was obviously put up a fight, but um, ultimately he was put into this car. Um, he was drove around, um, I don't know where to, all over the city. Um, for hours and hours and endured torture. Um, they beat him so bad. They basically did everything that you could possibly think of to, to this poor young boy. Now, this um, resulted in hours and hours and hours of torture and they had no mercy for this boy as I'm sure he begged for his life. Now after they had finished beating him um, and torturing the life out of him they had said to him do you know who I am, man? I do a eh, called Ethan Baldy. Um, now this man was big, big Pakistani. Now this was all for nothing. Apparently, what had happened was. Now this is just just hearsay, and it's got according to what um, other people are saying, was that. The night before, some Pakistani girl was tried to be hit on by some white boy, not Chris, but just some white boy. And these four Pakistani men thought that they would take the law into their own hands and basically 
this is how this came about, that they were going to capture the white boy and torture the life out of him because they are not worthy of touching their um, Pakistani women. <coughs> so basically, this is how this came about. After they were finished with um, Chris um, and what all the things that they had did to him, now you can read up on it, um, as I'm sure that some of it's not appropriate for even putting on YouTube. Um, <coughs> but you can read it online, I'm sure, and it's the same everywhere. Um, they left him at the back of London Road, that's just where Celtic Park is, um, for his body to be found. Now, when I say this, body to be found, they set him on fire and he was still alive when he was set on fire and he crawled um, until he had just his death basically. Now, his shoe was found in this car at night shoe was found in this car. These boys basically showed no remorse or anything. Um, this body, he was the, shall we say, the, the head of it basically. He's the, the head man and um, everybody kind of a uh, Followed him. He was the one that told people what to do. Although, however, I will say that the other people did play their parts. Now, I'm sure that in the end they were found guilty for this racially motivated crime. This was kidnap, torture, murder. Um, they were sentenced to life um, and I'm sure that one of them was sentenced to 45 years yes I'm sure one was sentenced to 45 years, yes, uh-huh. Now, it said um, 